India, a country of 1.3 billion, defined culturally by multiple identities and politically by cross-cutting cleavages, has turned into a heinous state since RSS-backed Hindutva Modi regime came into power in 2014. No country bears the semblance with India in being a caste-driven and religious apartheid state which defies her own constitution brutally. In the name of defending Hindu values, hardcore Hindutva gangs carry out mob lynchings, brutal killings, intimidation, restricting the rights of individuals to practice their religious beliefs and forceful chanting of Hindu slogans. The attacks on religious minorities living in India, namely Christians, Buddhists, Sikhs, Muslims, and Dalits, are on a rampant increase. In revoke of the Article 370 and 35A of Indian Constitution following the unilateral annexation of Kashmir in August 2019, Modi triggered panic in all the disputed regions in India, where the turmoil hit not only Muslims living in Kashmir, but all hell broke loose on all other religious minorities as well. In wake of the ongoing atrocities against the marginalized minorities living in India, the 46th session of the United Nations Human Rights Council at Broken Chair Square in Geneva, being conducted from February 22nd to March 23rd, 2021, has recorded grand-scale projection through posters and tents reporting India's ruthless treatment against religious minorities. Stop killing Indian Christians. Save Indian Dalits. Stop burning churches. Shun religious extremism. Stop lynching Indian minorities are a few of the slogans which have painted the picture of religious animosity in Assam, Nagaland, Mizoram, and various other states in India. The exposition of Indian atrocities at this particular venue, landmarking the broken chair, emboldens the obligation of United Nations and its member states to resolve the ongoing brutalities in India on religious and ethnic lines and to not turn a blind eye to the appalling and most graphic incidents in human history. Today, opinions are seen and heard frequently in the shadow of the broken chair. What we observe is a handful of upper caste Hindutva Zionists practically overrunning the Indian state under Modi regime, where nearly 300 million lower caste humans, or Dalits, are regarded as untouchables, been breathing under sharp blades. Adding 200 million Muslims to this number, a genocide of biblical proportions is seen to be going on in so-called democratic state of India. Christians also routinely face the ire of Hindu extremists. According to Open Doors, a Holland-based Christian human rights NGO, violence against Christians in India has increased since 2016. Churches are destroyed, priests and nuns are beaten, but authorities fail to prosecute perpetrators of all sorts of attacks from church burning to cow vigilante or assaults under love jihad. It's often being said that cows are more protected in Indian Federation than any religious minority in India. From meat politics to love jihad, such incidents stroke communal hatred, create deep fissures in society, and is leading India to self-disintegration.